So we're back uh, on the Causeway Coast here. We, a um, few of us have headed up to Dunless Castle, which is just behind me there. So plan is tonight to be shooting sunset. Um, but probably what I'm really, really interested in is shooting the castle with some really, really nice golden light. Um, so that's the plan. Um, firstly, I have to apologize for um, the lack of vlogs. Um, I've just kind of gone off the vlogging scene for a wee while, but um, hopefully this might be me starting to vlog again. We'll see, see how it goes. So yeah, we've just kind of set up along the, the cliff top here. It's very, very windy, so I'm really hoping that this audio is um, it's actually going to come out. Um, but yeah, basically the plan is to shoot um, back along the headland and to shoot some uh, Dunluce with some really, really nice side lighting um, right across the uh, the white rocks, the cliffs in the distance just behind me and then hopefully if the clouds stay in the sky and the light, the sun does something then possibly go down below and um, maybe try a few shots down there as well so um, so yeah quite a good night, uh, does look quite promising on the horizon so we'll see how we get on. So we're just kind of waiting on um, the sun coming back out again. It's kind of gone behind a little bit of a cloud here, but um, just to kind of show you, talk about the composition a wee bit. Um, basically, the uh, the castle at the moment is kind of top left in the in the composition. Um, basically, using it to anchor the eye and then kind of lead the eye right along the uh, the white cliffs, right round to the White Rocks Beach and and Port's Church. But we're just kind of waiting for light because at the minute the, there's quite a bit of contrast and the light that's actually hitting the cliffs isn't hitting the castle. So we really do need a little bit of light to hit the castle just to kind of give it definition. But I think the sun is going to come back out here again. Um, the horizon looks pretty clear. So I'm hopeful that probably as the evening goes on, it's maybe going to get a little bit better. So fingers crossed kind of being restricted to you know, shoot like about less than a second exposures which is not really ideal because it I want to create a little bit of movement in the water which is kind of my style I like to shoot with longer exposures but I was trying three four minute exposures and I could kind of see the camera moving a little bit even though I've got it well wedged in with the spikes so it's just gonna have to suck it and see here um, I think if the light really comes out to play then um, not having a longer exposure that's going to be fine um, that's okay so there's actually a few of us up here um, there's Seamus and Tyler that way and then Gilbert is over my other side here as well so there's four of us um, and probably the really cool thing is we're all going to come home with slightly different images um, which is to be quite interesting to see what everybody else um, what everybody else comes up with. We pretty much have two Fuji versus two Nikon, so we'll see who gets the best shot. So the sun has come back out again. Um, actually, the light now is getting really, 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 really nice. Um, basically, just to talk a wee bit about my exposure and stuff. Um, Shin ISO 100 and F11. Exposure time at the minute is kind of about one and a half seconds, two seconds. Um, I've got a circular polarizer on the front and I've actually got two ND grads. So I've got a 1.2 and I've also got a 0.9 and I have them on at an angle just because of the uh, the kind of the shape of the ridge line of the, of the top of the cliffs. And it's like the dynamic range in this is it's pretty crazy. Um, but at the minute, I think it's actually holding all the detail. There's a tiny little bit of the, the highlights in the water that's blown out, but I'm not overly worried about that because I think I can I can pull it back. So that's two seconds at F11 ISO 100. And the light is just so, 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 so nice. To see it coming across there. So I'll show you the shot that I've actually got set up here. And uh, that's just really nice just so 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 good so we're all kind of running around 
uh, the other side of this here to see if we can get a slightly better angle because the sky, oh, it's picking up these really, really beautiful pink tones and there's lovely, lovely texture on the clouds. I've just come round, back around this way. Not sure whether you can really make it out or not, but the sky is starting to go so, so, so nice at the minute. I've actually decided just to take all the filters off. Castle is going to be a silhouette, so um, I'm basically just bracketing, or I'm basically just exposing for the uh, the brightest point in the sky. Um, I'm just trying to suck in all that colour that's there. And that's basically it. I think I'm actually going to have to move again. I don't think I'm... So hard to know. I don't think I'm far enough round. So, what an absolutely beautiful sunset. We're actually just saying there, the, uh, the silhouette of the castle is kind of weird because, I don't know, from up here, I'm not really sure whether it works as well as it does down below. And I had planned to go down below as well, but we're just not going to have the time. Because uh, probably the time we managed to get all the way around and get down to the bottom, um, the colour in the sky is probably going to have gone. But. Um, yeah, what a what an absolutely beautiful sky. So please don't ask me how, but I actually managed to get down to the bottom. We had a little bit of a precarious slide, literally down the side. Uh, Tyler went first, as he always does and Seamus and I quickly followed. Um, I think it got down just as the light was going. There's still a little bit of colour in the sky and I just hope that there's enough when I get it back in on the computer that there's enough colour in the sky to make it work because I think the silhouette for Dunluce, the silhouette just works so much better from, from down below here. But yeah, um, sometimes you can have all the best, oh, all the best plans in the world, and then you just have to improvise and just go where, go where the light takes you, really. Um, but yeah, really, really good night up on the coast. It's been quite a while, as I say, since I've vlogged, but it's been quite a while actually since I've even shot um, along the Cosby Coast. I've been spending a bit of time um, exploring Donegal. If uh, any of you have been following me on social media, you probably already know that, but it's just been really nice to um, so it's just kind of visit new places and um, get away from the places that I'm normally shooting and the places that have been photographed to death as well. So it's, uh, it's good to be back on the Cosby Coast as well. And uh, yeah, definitely worth heading out tonight.